Hi, so I've got some YouTube videos to do on some of the speakers that will be going on into my Audi. So, first off, um, a bit of an explanation. So this first set is what's going into the back half of the car, next to the rear seats. Um, the reason why I chose these is because uh, at least all the back is all hurts. Um, I was tempted to choose focals for it, but instead I chose these. Um, also, as you can see in the background, I'll be doing a review on the focals that were going in the front. And my replacement 6x9s are also there to be reviewed as well. I'm going to split this into three parts because there is quite a bit to this. So, um, basically the 6x9 is brand new, so I'll be doing a fresh unboxing of those. Um, these two on the other hand, I got second hand from someone who had unboxed them, but hadn't actually used them. So I, uh, courtesy of someone on Facebook, but I basically bought them off of him, and like I say, they were, they were good enough for the job. I think I paid like 50 quid for them, they're meant to be 80 for these. The same with the Focals, I paid 50 for those, they're meant to be 80. But the 6 by 9s I paid full price for, which is about 80 quid for those. So, let's get to unboxing. So this is basically a unboxing of the, what are they called, Hertz DV165s. So let's get unboxing. Easiest to unbox so far. Oh, don't damage them all. <laughs> so, first look at these speakers. Apart from being a bit dusty, um, very nice speakers. terminals here um, something probably worth mentioning that these have crossovers Let's see if I can change the angle of my camera that'll do for now I'll probably move back Different mountains for the tweeters. There's one there, stuck to the tape. And we have crossovers. Now, technically, I can test these out on my Logitech system, but I have to link the two speaker sets together in order to do that. So let's have a look at the tweeters. There they are. Let's 
one there, still bagged up. Another one here is not. So let's have a look at this one. It's 40 watts for you there. Well, it says 80, but the actual RMS is about 40. So. 120, 60. These are probably around about 80 watt. Must be together in a pair. I'm not actually 100% sure. They're only going to be running off the uh, door amplifier anyway, so it's not. They're not door amplifier, the head unit amplifier, so it's not going to be a big issue. So the other one. And quite dusty. Not sure why the previous owner had them, but very dusty. Right, so That is everything. So it's basically got two crossovers, which is for running tweeter and speaker on one channel. Well, obviously, two tweeters, one still wrapped up. One with obviously one crossover and speaker, another with another crossover and speaker. For the purpose of this, I shouldn't really be doing this because it is only four ohms. I will compare this to the focal at the later stage. So it says TWWF. So WF is woofer, TW is tweeter. So let's do this. The tweeter hooked up. Right, as I was saying, shouldn't really be doing this, but it will work. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be turning it up, so it's not going to damage my channel. So we're using this for our guinea pig. Alright, that's that. 
As I said, it's our guinea pig. It's nothing permanent. It's going to play a song. For you. It's pretty sharp. Sounds pretty good. Um, the only thing with Hertz, they lack a lot of mid range. So, any of the the range of Hertz, let's disconnect this all. So, any of the range of uh, Hertz that they do all lack the mid range. They have the clarity, they have the bottom end. They do not have a mid. Um, well, I'm not saying the speakers normally come with a mid, but they normally produce decent mids from this but not the hertz that's not why i bought them i bought them just for sheer loudness and just clarity in the song um they are pretty loud for the cost that you get a speaker it's a lot for your money just bear that in mind if you're looking for <laughs> um the best way to describe it is the the bass note you get from drum and bass